What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to learn some vocabulary to talk about a basic emotion, anger. I'm going to split this lesson into two parts. Today, we're going to focus on adjectives and verbs. And in a different lesson, we're going to look at idioms and phrasal verbs to talk about anger. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off! In the first part of this video, we're going to look at 15 adjectives and then in the second part of the lesson, we're going to learn 15 verbs. So first, let's look at 15 synonyms of the adjective angry. So the first alternative to replace angry is annoyed. For example, I'm so annoyed with this heat. It's scorching in Valencia. Number two, cross. For example, I was cross when he stood me up. The phrasal verb to stand someone up means to fail to meet someone when you said you would. The third option, enraged. An example sentence, there are a lot of enraged taxi drivers taking part in a demonstration. Number four, fuming. For example, I wouldn't talk with her right now. She's fuming. Let her cool down first. Number five, furious. Very angry. For example, she was furious when he canceled the date at the last minute. Number six, heated. And it's followed by a noun. For example, it can be a heated discussion, argument, or a debate. For example, they had a heated argument last night. Number seven, infuriated. For example, I'm absolutely infuriated with his selfishness. Number eight, I like the way it sounds, irate, very angry. One simple sentence, the customer was irate and asked to speak to the manager. Number nine, irritated. For example, I got irritated by his personal questions. Number 10, irked. So for example, instead of saying she seems angry, you could say she seems irked. Number 11, mad. Be careful, it's American, because in British English, mad means crazy. But in American English, mad is angry. I'm mad. I'm angry. For example, I'm so mad right now, you'd better leave me alone. Number 12, livid. For example, she was livid when he turned down her invitation. Number 13, we've got a British adjective, miffed. An example sentence, I'm getting miffed, I'd better meditate and be on my own. Two more to go, number 14, we've got a slang word, pissed off. For example, I was pissed off when she took credit for all the work we did together. And last but not least, the adjective seething, which means extremely angry but unwilling to show it clearly. For example, he didn't say anything, but he looked seething. And guys, before we continue and look at 15 verbs to talk about anger, just a super quick reminder 
please make sure you subscribe to my channel and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you on Sunday at 12 p.m. Thank you very much. And now we're going to look at 15 synonyms of to get angry. Number one, to become irate. For example, he became irate when his plan failed. The second verb, to go ballistic. For example, she'll go ballistic when you tell her that you scratched her brand new car. Number three, to go crazy. A simple sentence, she'll go crazy when she finds out that she broke her favorite figurine. Number four, to go mad. Once again, American English. For example, she went mad because I forgot to wish her a happy birthday. Number five, to go berserk. Super funny. For example, he went berserk when he didn't get a pay raise. Number six, to go mental. For example, out of the blue, he went mental and started yelling at us. Number seven, to get worked up. An example sentence, he got worked up when I spilled coffee on his shirt. Number eight, to fly into a rage. An example sentence, he flew into a rage when a car cut him up. Number nine, to kick up a fuss or to make a fuss. It means to show great anger about something, especially when it's not necessary. An example sentence, he kicked up a fuss at the reception because there was no hairdryer in the room. Number 10, I like this one very much, to lose it. So when you say I lost it, it doesn't mean that you lost something physical. It just means that you are unable to control your emotions or temper. An example sentence, the boss lost it when he showed up at the meeting completely unprepared. We can also say to lose your temper. For example, he loses his temper very easily. Number 12, to have or to throw a fit or a tantrum. The difference between a fit and a tantrum is that tantrum is used only with children when they start crying a lot and a fit can be used both with children and adults. An example sentence, little children usually throw tantrums, so you need to be very patient. And now we're going to look at three verbs that we can use when someone annoys us. Number 13, to drive someone insane. An example sentence, his whistling is driving me insane. Two more to go, number 14, to get a rise out of someone. For example, he gets a rise out of me when he's being so stubborn. And the last verb on my list, something makes your blood boil. For example, his noisy eating makes my blood boil. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And I encourage you to write a sentence and let me know something that drives you insane or gets a rise out of you. For example, in my case, the sample sentences were true. It was about whistling and noisy eating. If you found this lesson useful, 
please give it some love and support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to catch me on Instagram where I teach English every single day. Thank you for having watched this lesson and see you next week. Ciao for now!